Welcome to Vikings Basketball with head coach Jace Coburn. As the Portland State Vikings are approaching their final weekend of play in the regular season, Portland State playing at Sacramento State on Saturday at 2 p.m. and then home right here at Viking Pavilion Monday, 7 p.m. against the University of Idaho. Final two regular season games, a lot to be decided. The Vikings could finish fifth, they could finish sixth, they could finish seventh. We have no idea, but we're gonna find out after these two games, just get a couple of wins, coach, and uh, we move right on into the Big Sky Tournament. That's the goal for the weekend, right? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, you know, one thing you wanna do is play your best basketball here coming down the stretch. And, uh, you know, we, we just came off with two tough road losses and felt we played pretty well, but we played two pretty good teams. And so uh, we're looking forward to this week though. Um, you know, we know we're gonna be playing two good teams again and anything can happen in the Big Sky. So uh, we gotta be on top of our game. Well, the good news is the Vikings have beaten both of those teams in their first matchup earlier this year. Uh, so we will see how all that plays out. But as we're recording this on Thursday, prior to the team leaving for Sacramento State, uh, we're going to take just a moment. It's the end of the season, and we're going to have Coach talk a little bit about his seniors. And uh, that will be today's show. And Coach, you've got six seniors, uh, so they will be honored on Monday night uh, against the University of Idaho. But I want you to just say a few words about each guy, and I'll, I'll, give, you a, I'll give you a name, and, and you just... You just give us some comments on what he has uh, meant to your team. And we'll start with the guy who's been here for one season, and he's had a great season. He's come in. He's a leading scorer and rebounder uh, from Los Angeles, K.J. Allen. I think first thing as a person, um, he's extremely humble. Um, he's been a lot of fun to coach this season. Um, obviously, he can do a lot of things on the basketball floor. He's a tremendous talent. But uh, the thing that I've enjoyed most is that he's a tremendous person. Um, works really hard. Great teammate. Um, and like I said, he's, he's really humble, um, you know, but a uh, great person, great, great, uh, going to have a great career ahead of him too. So, uh, but yeah, I, I've had a lot of fun coaching KJ and, uh, you know, it's going to be sad to see him go, um, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm just very fortunate for the time that we did have together here at Portland State. All right. And uh, five of the players are uh, two-year players here at Portland State. Uh, so we'll run through them. Uh, from Ontario, Canada, uh, a guard, Keyshawn Saunders. Yeah, no, Keyshawn's been really good for us for two years. Um, he's come in and had a lot of great energy for us and, and really impacted us uh, the last two years, um, you know, with his energy and, and, and another guy who's really very talented player um, and works really hard and uh, I've had a lot of fun coaching him over the last two years. And, you know, it's going to be sad to see him go and, and sad to see all these guys go. Um, you know, we've all really developed a strong relationship between all of us. And, and uh, you know, but we're really appreciative of everything Keyshawn's done for us in the last two years. All right. Next guy is a forward out of Pasadena, and he had two of the biggest plays we have seen uh, here at Portland State in the last couple of years. Last year, of course, the, the great game winner against Northern Arizona here. And then down at Northern Arizona, that amazing pass to Isaiah Johnson uh, for a game-winning shot. And that is Hunter Woods. Yeah, Hunter's a great player. Um, you know, we really appreciate everything he's done for our program in the last two years. And like you had mentioned, uh, last season making those two plays, he's very clutch in, in, those, uh, in those moments. Um, you know, and he's worked really hard this year, been a great teammate, really enjoyed coaching Hunter over the last two years. Um, you know, can't say enough great things about him as a basketball player and as a person. Um, you know, he come, comes in the gym every single day, works hard, has a great attitude, and, and gets after it. So, uh, looking forward to following his career after this, too. All right, and uh, the next guy, he is out of Chicago, a guard. He's been a big time three point shooter for you, uh, Jarrell Satterfield. Yeah, I mean, same deal. I mean, these guys who've, who've been here over the last two years have really impacted our program, and Jarrell's really done that over the last two years. Um, you know, it, he's played a lot of minutes for us over the last two years and, and been a great player for us. Um, been a great, great teammate, great person, and uh, works really hard. I mean, he wears his gym out. Um, he's in the gym every single day working to try and get better and, and uh, you know, really excited to, to follow his career also. Um, you know, another guy we're, we're sad to see go, but uh, thankful for everything he's done for our program. All right, and the next guy up, he's taken on a larger role as this season has progressed, played very, very well. Another guard, and he's from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Isaiah Kirby. Yeah, I've really enjoyed coaching Kirby over the last two years. Um, you know, common theme with all these guys is that they've been great teammates. Um, and it's been fun to coach them, um, you know, and, and Kirby works really hard. 
Um, obviously, he's a very talented player who can do a lot of different things on the basketball floor. Um, you know, and, and he's been a great teammate throughout his two years here. And uh, you know, sad to see him go too. I'm sad to see all these guys go. Um, you know, because they've just made such an impact for us. And, and uh, you know, I've really enjoyed coaching Kirby and all the things that he can do on the basketball floor. And, and uh, you know, another guy I'm, I'm looking forward to following his basketball career after this too. All right, and uh, the final senior, he's also from Chicago, currently leads the Big Sky Conference in three-point field goals made, and he's right up there on the Vikings uh, all-time season list. He's working his way up the list, and that's Bobby Harvey. Yeah, Bobby's had a great year so far this year, um, you know, and uh, he's been a great leader for us, um, you know, and, and his future's very bright, and, and uh, you know, we're sad to see him go too. I mean, that, that, that group of six guys is, has uh, you know really impacted our program and, and uh, been very excited for Bobby because he's another guy who works really hard and, and uh, great teammate and like I said great leader and, and these guys are all really good friends and that's that's what makes it difficult to let all these guys go is that uh, you know they've all been very enjoyable to coach and, and they're all such great friends and it's a tight group and they get along on the floor they get along off the floor and and uh, you know it's 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 a true compliment to all of those guys, um, you know, for being such great teammates. And um, going to be sad to see them all go. I'm glad you said that thing about friends because as I took a look at this list, uh, you know, the interesting thing about these guys and the rest of the team as well is they come from all over. Uh, we got Chicago, Los Angeles, Canada. Fort Lauderdale, you're bringing in guys from all over the country, bringing them together and blending them together. And I think that's kind of a tribute to you, obviously a tribute to them, but a tribute to you that you've been able to make, uh, create a team with such cohesion. Maybe address that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, probably more so than anything, it's it's to those those uh, five guys who've been here for two years and KJ this year is that, uh, you know, they've really bought into the culture. Um, they've established a culture for us over the last two years. Um, you know, and, and like you said, they, they come from all over the place, but I think they're going to be friends for life. Um, you know, they hang out, like you said, they hang out a lot outside of here and it's, and it's really impacted. And, and I'll honestly, like a lot of them have had to sacrifice for the betterment of the team. And, and uh, you can't find a better group of guys to coach or be around than the guys that are seniors this year. And I really appreciate everything they've done for our program. And, and um, they really helped establish the culture and, and where we continue to move forward to. All right, and the Vikings, as we go into the weekend, they have 16 wins. That's the most in the past four seasons. So that culture is really developing and growing. Uh, and uh, they've had an excellent season to this point. Again, the Vikings playing at Sacramento State, two o'clock on Saturday at Idaho, right here. Final home game of the season. Come on out, that's 7 p.m. On Monday, you can watch these games also on ESPN+. And then after those two games, we move on to the Big Sky Tournament. Go to GoVikes.com to find out the schedule there and for all your information on Vikings basketball.